Bonjour everyone! I am Yann, your favorite friendly Frenchman, and welcome to this new Baggett Plays on Hogwarts Legacy. That's right, but I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. That's right, I'm gonna do an evil Let's Play of uh, Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, I was waiting on the... Um, the you know the reviews and everything to make sure that the game was playable because I was really uh, anticipating that it was going to be a uh, a cyberpunk uh, disappointment even though cyberpunk wasn't a disappointment at the time but still it was in a rough shape uh, I'm I am willing to admit that and uh, apparently not apparently Hogwarts Legacy is actually um, really really well balanced. Um, performance wise so yeah I, I I thought to myself why not let's go let's do this you know so we are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student term begins on first of, of on the first of September okay preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accomp accompany you on your journey to the castle as you may be aware, the decree of the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside school. However, due to your unique circumstances, the ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor Eliz Eliza, oh my god, El Elizar, I guess, Elizar, hey, lizard, Elizar, fig, <laughs> to help you hone your spellcasting before escorting you from London to the castle for the start of term feast and the sorting ceremony. Your sincerely, uh, Mr. Weasley? Headmistress, Mrs. Weasley. Um, Professor Weasley, uh, Deputy Headmistress. Start the game! Right! So, the name of my character, uh, because I knew that you could create your character, the name of my character is going to be a reference to someone I've met long time ago and uh, his uh, online name was Donovan Crow and so I want to make a French guy obviously because I'm French duh and um, and uh, so yeah his name is going to be Donovan but Corbeau because Corbeau means crow in French and you know how much I'm I, I love crows you know with Parc Ciel Bleu and everything so let's see what basic options we have so far uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. is this head different yes it seems like it is or at least the haircut does make me feel like it, it is different so face shape right so we can actually okay so those are just presets yeah, okay, so I don't need to worry about those. So I like the second one. Okay, okay. No, 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 no. What was this one again? Between this one and this one. I like this one more because it's more... Uh, it's got a better jawline, you know. I really want to have someone that is, um, you know, a, a somewhat of a s uh, server Snape looking dude. Um, I really like the freckles, though. So that's going to be something that's going to be changing from uh, a character like server Snape. Oh, do, you, do we want the glasses? I don't think my character has glasses. Okay, so hairstyles. Oh, we've got a lot to play with here. Okay, um, let's see. Let's see. So, this. Ah, no. <laughs> what is that? This looks like a, a V's haircut in Cyberpunk, actually. Uh. Okay, okay, dreadlocks, no, no, not bold.
this I like, but no. What the? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what the? Nah, definitely not. Oh, the Luke Skywalker. This is Luke Skywalker. This is literally Luke Skywalker. Uh, no, too short. No. No. This looks like a Disney Prince, actually. This too. I really like. I really like the idea of having a. What I'm sure has been um, thought to be a female haircut, but putting it on a actual uh, male. I, he's staring into my soul. I hate that. On an actual male guy. Oh yeah, oh, that 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 looks so French with uh, the huge whatever you call it at the back. Uh, don't make dirty jokes, please. This is cool as well. No, too short. No, too long. Uh, two on the side. No. No. Uh, no. 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 I'm gonna. I'm gonna do them all. I'm so sorry. Oh, this is. This is actually really hot. But no. <laughs> uh, no. Too curly. Uh, too hot. And too, too modern. Those three ones are really, really hot, but to, like, see, those things are too modern for me. Uh, remember we are at the end of the 1800s, I think? See that thing. Like, I don't know. Doesn't work for me. Oh, this. Okay, too short. No. No. Okay, I think I know which one I want. Now I have to... Find... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> to find those again. So that wasn't it. Uh, right. This one. This one was really cool. Uh, or this one with the huge... Uh, it's not really a ponytail because it's too long. This is a ponytail. Uh... This is pretty cool as well. Is that a... What's that hold, holding it together? I don't know. I'm, I've never had long hair. I've tried to have long hair at, at one point, but it was a failure. So... Uh, wait, I, I lost the... Right. So between this and that, I really like the... Um, uh, what are they called? The side bangs? The, the, the side uh, uh, strands, whatever they're called. I don't know. I'm so sorry. I'm not really familiar with uh, women's hairstyle. Oh, which one I like? do I like the most? This one makes a huge forehead, but this one... Yeah, I really like this one. Okay. As for the hair, we really want... Uh, the blackest color there is. Da, da, da. But, but with some brown reflections, like this. Or maybe just black, black, uh, cruel black. Yeah, that seems right. Uh, then, scars, so complexions. What, what is this? Oh, we want to... Okay, so those, right. Oh, we definitely want those under the eyes. Those are sort of bags under the eyes. Because that character doesn't sleep. He's up to no good. He suddenly swears that he's up to no good. Uh, freckles and moles. As for the freckles... Uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. Nah. I really want my character to have freckles, but I don't know how much. See, this this looks really, really young, so maybe not this. 
this is too much. This is this is the right amount. This is the proper amount. Or or this. Yes. And scars. Do we want a scar? Looks like it adds character, so why not? So what sort of scars do we have? Oh no. No. I like this one. Yeah, this one's pretty good. Okay. Ooh, and I want green eyes. So green eyes, green eyes, green eyes. No. Blue. Where's green? I really want a popping green, like the, the the most green there is. Yeah, this looks this looks right. So the hot the eyebrows, so the eyebrows we want the full dark, again, uh, which is gonna be really hard because. <laughs> My hair is already pretty dark. So... I like the mean eyebrows. What about those? No, those are too clean. Oh, actually, those are clean. Now that I think about it. Oh! <laughs> the unibrow! <laughs> no, definitely not. Okay, this is too not it. This is not it as either. Uh, no. Too thin. This looks, li this looks right. How about those? Yeah, this looks better. Okay, and finalize your character. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Nope. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. Okay. That was quite something. Oh my god, did they test that? It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Ah. Uh, I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able one. to help you. As for the difficulty, um... Balance gameplay challenge, light gameplay challenge. I definitely do not want to have the story like I had in God of War. Um, even though in God of War, I think I was on easy. So, which... You know what? This looks like it's going to be a, an easy... Uh, an easy game. So, let's keep it to normal... I'm assuming that we can change it in the in the future. Now, for the name, so Donovan. And Carbo. And there we are. All right, guys. So, what do you guys think? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Obviously, I'm gonna make it. Make, make it. <laughs> You're a person. Make him a Slytherin. Like, obviously. Anyway, let's go. Ah! It appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you. Oh my God, we're going to get our own time. wand! Yes. Oh, <laughs> Eleazar. George! Eliazar, Glad my okay. rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here. 
Eleazar. Hmm? Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Oh yeah, he sounds Ages like Slytherin. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. Oh, London then. Aha, who are you? Warner Bros. Games. Avalanche. The makers of Cars the Game. <laughs> Four key games because this is the only successful game that they've made. <laughs> Actually, no, Lego Harry Potter. Even though that was uh, uh, TNT games or something, I don't remember. Glad I caught you before you left for Scotland. <laughs> Just barely. <laughs> and who is your traveling companion? Donovan Corbeau. A new student. New? New. Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. Which doesn't make any sense, but... It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Ah. Well... You couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how Rob great a threat you. Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard! Uh, how did you- Wait! We did- Okay. Well. Pretty sure he's dead. how you do it are you all right 
You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Wigan what? Oh, right. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. That place being here? I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. Well, this is not ideal, is it? from London and the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. So, those roads. Do you think... The port key was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. Nope. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right, and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Not like I have a choice, anyway. Mind your step. Where do you suppose your wife got the poor key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Aha. That's when I come in. Because apparently I was linked to that. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Ah, what's that? Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Uh... Okay. Use your camera to select an active target. Some players prefer to select targets and move the avatar with the same stick. Uh, sure. Whoa. Water slide, yeah. That was a bit rougher than I'd expected. Whoops. <laughs> what now? Ah, up there. RPG fashion, I have to check this out. 
obviously money. We're close now. It's just ahead. Steady yourself. Repero. Yeah, okay, that's really cool. I suspect they valued their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Hold on, let me look around first. The minimap shows you your surrounding uh, with you in the middle. Right, the minimap. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Wow, you're mm. a genius. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Interesting indeed. What about this? Professor, this statue... This may have been his home. Ah. Enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fig! Whoa. Is that Green Guts? <laughs> what the? How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. Okay, yeah. I knew it. Gringotts. Hello? Just a moment. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number 12, I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. The key. Your wife's porky. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. I wasn't planning on doing anything else anyway. Oh my god, guys. After you. We're at Universal Studios Orlando, yeah. Keep your hands 
inside the cards if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> Where's the lab bar? Little disclaimer, I've never done this game with Green Gods, actually. How many votes are there? Hundreds. Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vote number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby, the vote you see now at the new list. Are private entrances to the bank common at Green Gods? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power or both could have arranged for such a service. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the love votes that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. Oh it resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Number 12. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. Yeah, we all know this, Dad. When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today. Vault 12. Thank you for your help. What do you look? suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait. Best of luck. <sighs> Professor? That was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Oh. Ah. Is that something I have? Hold on. Oh, right. Steady your one with L. Okay. What the hell? Hold on, what am I missing? Ah, right. I have to be faster than uh, the red thing. Go. 
Revelio. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. What the? This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. This place looks huge, actually. Is that like the room of requirements or something? Looks like it. Just huge. I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. This is going to be an enemy, right? Revelio. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Right. I'm getting the hang of this. Okay, and one lightning charm, Lumos, which has automatically been slotted to your spell set. Okay, and Lumos. Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, hold. Is badass. Professor Fig is a badass, man. Ow, didn't see him. Professor! Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Lumos! Right, I where am I supposed to go? Now. 
What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Ah, that's where they're leading me. That glow again. Right. So now it's gonna be for me alone. Very well. So. Revelio. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Lumos. Statues with their reflections. Aha. Uh -huh. Triangulation, of course. It seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. Actually, combat feels really nice. During Protego to stun enemies with a stupefied counterattack. Uh... Ah, okay. Let's try that. That feels actually really good. I thought it was gonna be much worse than that, but no. Lumos. I'm actually really surprised. I'm quite enjoying myself. I was not expecting to enjoy myself that much. Places. Oh, this is not how I thought my first day at Hogwarts was gonna go. What's that? Floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive oh. for viewing memories. I wonder. Follow my lead. The portkey is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. 
Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in here. I was right. Ranrock. I saw you in the newspaper. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have them. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Run for your life! Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? It can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Ah. Nice. Okay, yes.
Oh, good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. <laughs> now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. No problem. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? I don't have a choice, do I? Oh, whoever you are, I like you. You have a cool mustache, man. Phineas Nigellus Black. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig. And I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. Okay, I if don't like you anymore. Lucky, we but you have a cool mustache. We might be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Sure. <laughs> this is so cool. I thought it'd be bigger. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Wait, Professor. Ah, that's you. You sent me the, my letter. This is the moment. A bit older than the others, aren't you? Yep. You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. I'm looking forward to meeting my professors and learning all I can at Hogwarts. Indeed. Hogwarts has much to offer a dedicated student. And what you learn in class will prepare you for challenges outside the classroom as well. Hmm. I wonder... Hmm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Hmm. What is it? Uh, uh, it, it's a feeling that the gameplay is about to, to end and I have to do a, a, an abrupt cut. See, you were right. <laughs> um, of ambition. Is it ambition? I may seem single-minded, but it is important to go after what you want from life. Hmm, interesting. You've recently learned that you possess a rare ability. That's right. I detect a growing sense of ambition, an eagerness for power. Perhaps you belong in Slytherin. And I do belong in Slytherin. <laughs> I could have made the cut here, actually. It would have been better. But hey, whatever. You belong in Slytherin! Ah, uh, that matches my eyes, man. Oh, and one more thing. He's so Due cool. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your 
academic futures. I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. Let's go. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. It may be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. Oh, yeah, yeah. It can be quite resourceful. I suspected as much. This is the entrance to the Slytherin common room. In order to enter, one must simply speak the correct password. Aspiration. Very well. Aspiration. Interesting. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Thank you. I mean... I am supposed to do a evil uh, playthrough. However... We always need to remember to be... Looks like everyone's gone. Nice. Better head to the common room. But anyway, I think it's a good time to actually end this episode now that we've actually been to... Uh, wait, hold on. Um, I'm going to do something with the settings just after I finish this, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this first episode of Awkward's Legacy. Oh my god, how exciting is that? That, that was... That, that game... At first, I wasn't sure. I, I was probably going to play it on this side, like a, as a side thing. And I wasn't sure if I was going to uh, make a, a playthrough out of it. But actually, actually, I, I, I'm really happy that I have made it a playthrough. So, yeah, I hope you guys are excited. If you are, do leave a like and tell me in the comments that you're excited. Also, consider subscribing because, well... Obviously, this is the start of the Let's Play, so you guys will want to know what's next. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Yan, your favorite friendly Frenchman, and I'll see you guys in the next one. A bientôt!